All right, guys, welcome to your Wisconsin River Fest eligible water video. This is for the Kayak Adventure Series 2024. We are so excited to be heading to the Wisconsin River. The anticipation is, is killing us already because we know how many big fish are going to be caught here and how many you know numbers of fish are going to be caught here. Uh, we'll explain more about Sauk Prairie, your host city, and the closing ceremony locations, opening ceremonies, all that kind of stuff. We're going to get into that in other videos. This is just your eligible water video, so let's get to it. Basically, the Wisconsin River, guys, flows kind of along this direction, kind of goes around here and works its way down and eventually flows into the Mississippi River, I believe, in Pool 10. But just upstream of that is our southern, or downstream, I should say, launch boundary for the Wisconsin River. So let's zoom in and let's start on the downstream side of this for this video here. It's a launch boundary, so that means you can launch here and still float downstream and even take out downstream as long as it's a public access. You don't have to come back to this launch boundary. Once you launch here, uh, go wherever you want, upstream, downstream, wherever, uh, and then take out somewhere that's public, and you are good to go. Right around the town of Port Andrew, you can see it says all Port Andrew accesses, and that just means you could put it at this one here on this side of the island. You could put it at this one, put in wherever there is an access, uh, right here even. I mean, you could put in... Wherever there's an access on the Wisconsin River on this road here at Port Andrew, you are good to go. As we move our way up, just take a look at the river here. You got nice features, a lot of cut banks, a lot of sandbars. It's just a real scenic fishery, super shallow. You can see uh, oxbows and sloughs that you can get into. If they're connected, you can get in there with your kayak. And they're connected because, again, you can portage. So uh, even if there's a tree in your way, as long as it's connected, by water it can't be completely separated uh by water and that could definitely change on water levels uh, but that's why during pre-fishing you need to go check that out and obviously during a tournament you, you'll you'll know if you're dragging over a complete sandbar or there's actually water there even if it's just a, a couple inches of water that's still water that's flowing and connected and uh, you're good to go but you can see it's just a beautiful uh river all the way around lots of lots of good stuff here especially for kayaks with how shallow this is uh, a lot of boats can't fish it very well so this is the lower, you know, Wisconsin River below Lake Wisconsin. It's what we're calling this section. As you move your way up to the city here, you'll notice this is uh, our host location, Sauk Prairie. And there's a dam just north of town here. And that is the Lake Wisconsin Dam. And that creates this nice, beautiful lake here with houses on it, a lot of vegetation, a lot of man-made structure for all the, those lake anglers. And this is a really good-sized lake, too. And uh, while I'm here at this lake, actually, I'll show you a couple things. You can see, you can just zoom in and find some vegetation pretty much anywhere. Lily pads, all kinds of good bassy stuff, right? And largemouth and smallmouth are in this lake, so you just don't know what you're going to catch. But I will use this as a point uh, in the rules just to highlight for you guys. This little area here is, you know, you can go into this bridge with your kayak. So this is all eligible. But let us it's a man-made feature. It's a bridge, right? It's obviously a man-made feature. It's not you know, a tree or something like that that just fell in a creek or river. You cannot portage over a man-made feature in any kayak adventure series event if you cannot get to the other side with your kayak. Uh, in other words, if this was a small pipe, a teeny little pipe that you could not get through with your kayak, then everything on this side would be ineligible because that's a man-made barrier now. It's different. If it's a just a, as far as you want to go up a river or creek, if it's a tree that fell down, you know, anything like that, rapids, shoals, riffles that are just real shallow that you have to get out to portage up, that's all just natural stuff. So you can go up those as far as you want. But once it the difference is once it becomes a man-made structure like this or a dam, like a farm pond dam or something like that, that's when you're you're blocked. If it's a spillway dam, that's different. So we'll, we just will use this to kind of explain a couple things like that. Like if you went up this little creek here all the way to this lake that's a uh, I don't know what it's called. It might pop up here. Wyona Lake. This is where you would have to stop, okay? Because this Duck Creek here is free-flowing all the way into the Wisconsin River. But when you get to these dams here, these are man-made. They're not natural. It's not a, a tree that fell down, right? So it's not a waterfall. It's not natural. If it's anything natural, you can just keep going as far as you want in the Kayak Adventure Series. This is not natural. Therefore, this would be where you stop. Now, this is a, a, a type of dam where water kind of flows under. Any dams you see that are that are like a spillway type type dam. They're kind of running the river. They're just, which are, there are some here and I'll get to them in a minute. Those are all eligible to be portaged up unless we have a marker there that specifically says a red line that says, you know, 
boundary, right? All the rest of those, you can portage above and below. And uh, just while I'm on this topic, I will go ahead and show you some of these on the, the Lemon Weir River right here has a couple, and this is all inbound. So again, this is just running the river. It's a little teeny little dam with the water's flowing over. It's just flowing the river. So everything above here is inbounds and eligible. Everything below would be eligible. Again, if we wanted you to not be there, we would put a red boundary marker right there. Anything that's free flowing into this this river or lake, Wisconsin, is inbounds all the way as far as you want to go until you see a boundary. If, and if there's no boundary, then there is none. Go as far as you want. But there happens to be one here on the Lemonware River because we want to keep you guys within an hour of our host location. So that is pretty much an hour away from Sauk Prairie. So back to where we were originally at Lake Wisconsin. Sorry to get on that tangent, but it's just important to see these different things. And so you guys really start to understand these rules and our concepts that make it very easy actually to understand what's in bounds. Anything that's coming off these this free-flowing river is simply in bounds, unless you see a, a line that, that tells you it's not. I mean, or a dam that is like this dam over here that I just showed you Lake Winona or whatever. It's clearly not a running the river you know, spillway dam. So this is Lake Wis uh, the, the Wisconsin River above Lake Wisconsin. All this up here um, goes through Wisconsin Dells. Then you get a uh, a dam here, actually, right around Wisconsin Dells that it doesn't say an actual lake name above it, but I just want to point out for you guys, this is the other area of flat water uh, lake, if you will. It's, it still is moving. Don't get me wrong. There's still current here, but I'm sure there's not as much up here in this bigger open section. But this is your second lake option for the Wisconsin River Fest. And as you move your way up the Wisconsin River, guys, you got the upstream launch boundary on the Wisconsin River, and that's right below Castle Rock Lake. So that's the Castle Rock Dam right here. And then, as we've already noted, downstream, the Lemonware River comes in, and you got all that Lemonware River right here, and that's the upstream launch boundary for the Lemonware. You've got uh, even the Baraboo River comes in right around here somewhere. And I can zoom in a little bit. Yeah, right around here, it comes into the Wisconsin River. So all that river, all the way upstream, as far as you want to go, totally in bounds. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the eligible water for the Wisconsin River Fest. Hopefully that clears up any of this. And uh, you guys, I can't wait. It's going to be a fun event, huge fish. It's going to break all kinds of records, I'm sure. I'm sure. So I cannot wait to see what we pull out of this and what we expose in a, in a good way expose as an incredible kayak fishing tournament venue. Thanks for watching and we will catch you later. Be sure to read all the rules for more information on everything about the kayak adventure series and how tournaments are supposed to go. But uh, this has been the eligible water video. Thanks for watching.